distinguished online guests, respected principal madam, respected teachers and all my dear friends, a very warm good morning and happy Independence Day. I am honoured and privileged to share the screen before you all dignitaries on the occasion of Independence Day. Today we all are here to acknowledge our privilege of being born in a free India and celebrate the 75th Independence Day of our country. We not only celebrate our freedom, but we also pay tribute to the freedom fighters who fought for it, to the ones who held a vision for our country, and to the ones who sacrificed themselves for the same. There is a big celebration each year in New Delhi at Rajput, where the national National Anthem is sung after the Prime Minister hosts the flag and all the forces take part in parades. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19 pandemic situation, whole world is paused. Along with the pandemic crisis, there are numerous other challenges that we all are facing. Few of them are very less physical activity which results directly on our health. Some of us has lost their loved ones due to corona infection. I also lost my grandmother a couple of months before. For those who lost someone in their families, please accept my heartfelt condolence on their loss. But as in Greek mythology, the phoenix bird reborn from ashes, we humans will definitely find a way to survive and prosper. This pandemic has taught us all many new things. Though COVID is under control right now, but we still all must follow the precautionary measures given by health authorities. Only this will improve the health status of people without which there can be no long lasting development. Keeping the sacrifices of our ancestors in mind who fought for freedom and sacrifices, we should take an oath to crave a better future for our motherland, India. Finally, I'd like to thank you all for giving me an opportunity to share my views.